First, we should recognize that we're restricted to the first quadrant because of the two constraints, x greater than or equal to zero and y greater than or equal to zero. Now to find the feasible region, we need to graph the two inequalities, arbitrarily starting with 4x plus 4y less than or equal to eight. First, we need to switch it to an equation and graph the line. To do that, we need two points, the x and y intercept. So there's the x intercept, two comma zero. Now we need the y intercept. And as we work that out, we get 4y equal to 8. That's going to produce y equal to 2 and the point 0 comma 2. Now with the two points, we can graph the line. Notice that it's less than or equal to. That means it's going to be a solid line. Now we need to figure out where we need to shade, above the line or below it, so we need a test point. Arbitrarily, we'll use 0, 0. And when we plug that in, we end up getting 0 less than or equal to 8. And that's a true statement, so that means we're going to shade below the line where 0, 0 is. But remember, we're limited to the first quadrant, so we're not going to shade the whole region underneath the line, just in the first quadrant. Now we're going to switch the second inequality to an equation and graph that line. Again, we're going to use the x and y intercepts, starting with the x intercept. We get x equal to 2, which produces the point 2 comma 0, and the y-intercept now. And that one will produce the point 0 comma 4. Now with two points, we can graph. Notice that it's going to be a solid line because of the less than or equal to again. Now we want to shade a region either above or below the line, so we use a test point. Again, we'll use 0, 0. And we plug that in, we get another true statement. So we're going to shade below the line because that's where 0, 0 is. Now we have our feasible region. It's where the two shaded regions overlap. And now we need our corner points. And as I'm about to fill in, we get the point 2, 0 as one corner point, 0, 2, and the point 0, 0. Now we need to test the three points into our objective function and see which one produces the maximum. And when we plug those in, we get 12 for the first point, we get 8 for the second point, and 0 for the last point. So the maximum is going to be the point 0, 2. That's it.